In this video, we will implement queues using arrays or lists in Python. We will create an empty file and give it a name as QArray. The first statement we will write is from exceptions import empty. This exceptions Python file we have already implemented when we have seen the working of the stacks. The exceptions file contains a class empty which is used to handle exceptions in our Q class. We will now create a Q class with the name ArrayQ followed by the constructor and this class will have a member underscore data which is a list which we use it for storing the elements in the queue. We will use another variable as size which we initialize to 0 and another variable front which we will initialize to 0. We will write the implementation for length function. This length function will return the size of the queue. We will implement is empty function. This is empty function will check if the size is 0. If the size is 0, it will return true else false. We will now implement the NQ operation. We will have a statement as underscore data dot append of E and then the next statement would be size equal to size plus 1. The NQ, the NQ method will take one argument which is the element to be inserted into the queue. We will now write a DQ method. This DQ method will not take any arguments. The first statement we will check is whether the queue is empty using if is empty and if it's empty we will raise an exception that queue is empty. Else we use a variable value which is assigned the element contained on the front index. Then we will make data of front equal to none. And then we will increment the front index by using front equal to front plus one. And finally we will decrement the size size equal to size minus one and return the value which is dequeued. We will also write a method first and in this method the first statement we will check whether the queue is empty or not and raise an exception. Else we will return data of front. This completes our queue class. We will run this class to see if there is any errors. Now we will create an object queue with the class name as array queue and then apply the nq operation on this queue object that is q.nq of 10 and q.nq of 20. Then we will print the queue using q.data. Data is a member of the queue class. We will also find the length of the queue using len function. We will apply dq operation that is q.dq. After the dq operation we will print the queue once again. We will nq one more element that is q.nq30 and then q.nq40 and we will print the queue. We will also retrieve the first element from the queue using q.first method and then again print the queue. We will apply dq operation once more and again print the queue. Let us run this program to see the output. The first two elements we have inserted in the queue that is 10 and 20. Length of the queue is 2. Then we perform the dq operation. So we have none comma 20 and then the first element return is 20. Again once you dq it, you will find the queue has only two elements now that is 30 and 40.